Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. This time we're going to be looking at a game that was much better than I expected it to be, Hammerlock Wrestling on the NES. Okay, so let's start with the visuals, because when the screen isn't going crazy, the graphics are really good. The game has some really good ideas on how to present the match, and I do like the fact that they have close-up shots of the moves being done, or submission moves being applied, or like the crowd when something really big happens in the game. But my god, it's kind of a pain to watch this game. The screen is divided into three sections. You have, let's just say, player one on the top, player two is going to be on the bottom, and then in the middle, you have what's actually happening in the ring. So the top of the screen is a zoom-in of one character, the bottom is a zoom-in of another. When a big move happens, sometimes that will take up two-thirds of the screen, and will push like the actual gameplay down to the bottom, or it'll push it up to the top. Or when there's like a pinfall or a submission, or you get thrown to the outside, you might see the crowd being put into either the top or the bottom third, and then both wrestlers being either in the top or the bottom third as well. It's really weird. It's like it's like somebody did something really crazy with this, and this is probably probably an experience that most people don't have and is most likely just uh, weird and unique to the kids that I grew up with, but it looks like somebody snorted four pixie sticks and then decided, you know, hey, this is what the game should look like, and for some reason the developer listened to this kid who he just watched snort four pixie sticks. Yeah, it, it's weird. So now that's out of the way, um, I think everything looks really good when it's not going crazy. I like the close-ups of each wrestler. I think those look really well detailed. Everything in the game looks really great, but the way it's presented is just really weird. And it's honestly the biggest knock that I have against this game, because everything else is pretty good. to ignore the fact that the screen is flying around all over the place. You do have the character sprites that look very good. They resemble the close-ups for each character. Everything in the game, in isolation, looks pretty good. But when you put it all together, it's just a giant mess. And again, it looks like a kid snorted four pixie sticks, and then told the developer what the game should look like, and for some reason the developer listened to them. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the gameplay. So I think the gameplay in Hammerlock Wrestling is actually pretty good. The moves are all pretty easy to do, it's easy to line up your attacks, each character feels a little bit different, even if a lot of the moves are going to be the exact same, or at least how you do them is pretty much similar. It's all fairly simple, but it's presented very well to you, so everything is very easy for you to perform, and it's really quite accessible to a new player. One weird thing that I did notice is both wrestlers, regardless of who you're playing as or playing against, they have this strange habit of just collapsing on the mat. So after a move is performed, both wrestlers will just stay on the mat for no reason. If you try to do a submission move once the move is broken, both wrestlers just kind of lay there until you mash enough buttons to get your character to stand up. Or... If you do like a. If you just hit your opponent, sometimes you'll both just kind of end up on the mat for no reason. That's the only weird thing in the gameplay that I don't get. It just feels kind of odd. And I. Yeah, it's, it's a very strange choice for the developers to have made. 
because Hammerlock Wrestling doesn't have a license, so it, it isn't associated with like WWF or WCW, it can kind of be its own thing, much like Tecmo World Wrestling was. You have a pretty colorful cast of characters, but they're also somewhat grounded, and it's pretty believable that these guys would be in a wrestling uh, promotion or something like that. Each character has their own moves, but it is a limited move set. So you have a little bit of variety from the characters, but you are going to see a lot of the same moves over and over again. Most of your wrestling moves are done from a lockup or a grapple situation. And you have five grapple moves, and then you have like an Irish whip, so you just throw somebody into the ropes or something like that. You then have some attacks for you know running or being run at, and that sort of thing. There are a few different game modes here, but they're kind of basic. You don't have any sip. Uh, stipulations like steel cage or triple threat or anything else like that which would have added some more variety to the game you have a single match you have championship tournament and a regular tournament each of these matches are available under single and tag team so yeah even if you select a single player mode you can still do a tag team match which is pretty great Overall, I think the gameplay is pretty good. Uh, it has similar gameplay to other wrestling games that I've played. And yeah, that this isn't the biggest issue with this game. I, I think the visuals are more of a problem than the actual gameplay. If you're looking for a narrative in this game, you're not really going to find it. Uh, I checked with the manual to just see what was going on and see if I was missing anything when it came to the different movesets and whatnot. I did not see anything close to a story, which is kind of disappointing, but pretty understandable for a game from this era. They just didn't really have a story mode in mind when they played these, so yeah, you kind of have that lacking but it does let you create your own so creating your own backstory for these characters creating reasons why they're chasing after certain things and even creating your own championships all of this has to be done by the player and whoever is there with you while you're playing this game which can be part of the fun and it kind of harkens back to when you had to do this with your friends you know create your own championships create your own wrestlers and figure out who's on whose side and create your own stables and that sort of thing that's kind of the fun part with these games but at the same time when you compare them to more modern games you kind of wish that there was some sort of a story mode involved in it I think Hammerlock Wrestling is actually a really good game. The controls are really good. They're easy to perform all the moves. Uh, it has a unique roster of wrestlers. Each one feels pretty unique. Uh, however, the visuals can be very annoying. It is a great game once you get used to the visuals, which is something you shouldn't have to do, but... In order to play this game and kind of see how good it really is, you do have to do that, which is a little disappointing at times. The developers took a chance on something like this, and I think for the most part it did really well. But yeah, the, those visuals are something you can't really ignore. I think I liked this game more than most people probably did. Uh, it did take me a while to adjust to what was going on with the game visually, and once I did, I found it to be a really good wrestling game. It isn't all that different from some of the best games on the NES, so it's right up there with something like Tecmo World Wrestling or Pro Wrestling. The gameplay is really good. I liked it a lot more than some of the other uh, SNES games that I've played so far. And I had a lot of fun with this one. I like the idea behind the three panels and kind of the comic book approach to pro wrestling. I just sort of wish the, the center panel was bigger and you weren't skipping around so much with the top and the bottom panels. 
if those uh, two on the top and bottom were smaller, then I think the visuals would be much better. Anyway, that's going to wrap things up. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.